hi guys welcome to today's video we'll be taking a stroll around the nairobi cbd in the evening uh, you'll get a chance to see how beautiful and vibrant the nairobi city is at night so come with me Cindy. <laughs> Currently on the bridge connecting the University of Nairobi to the CBD. So this bridge leads to the National Theatre and some luxurious hotels. This bridge, let's see how beautiful it is. It's so huge and it's very like convenient for when students are crossing here at daytime and evenings and it's also very safe because it's connected also to the central police station so yeah let's have a view of the roads coming from westlands and So this is the end of the uh, bridge and now we are entering into the Nairobi city town. This is the Koinange street side. Um, so we'll get to see how activities happen at this time of the evening. It's around, let me see what time it is with my phone. Yeah, it's 8.57. So we'll see how it goes down at this hour of the night. Okay. 
I am building. Um, this is one of the oldest buildings in Nairobi. It's very tall. I'm sure at some point it was one of the tallest. But right now there's so many taller buildings. This is on the ground floor. There's a manic store. There's, there used to be a forex bureau. If we happen to pass in front of it, you'll get to see the forex bureau maybe. Uh, there's also a safari com shop on the lower ground I mean on the ground floor of that building so yeah and then that is the Nairobi market uh, Masai market huh. the Seamers Club used to be. I knew about the club because when I was watching the South hmm? yeah when I was watching the South Souls channel is when I um, I discovered there used to be a club there. I guess I was still in school so I never like got to visit or hear my any of my friends talk about it but yeah I watched BN's interview and he said that's where he used to hang out with his friends or with his uh, so that is the international house mm, yeah owned by chris kirubi the leds Beautiful, 
and we can walk freely at night the cab roads are fantastic beautiful even when it rains we are good to go we can still take our strolls yeah so honestly um, I'm so mad at myself I don't know where the Kipchoge's painting is but I will make sure I do a video of that place so right now we can't walk around yeah yeah, yeah. I'm seeing this too City guys, this is Africa. Okay, I always like to say, um, if you can, just create time, do whatever, and visit Nairobi. It's a beautiful, free country. I mean, it's a beautiful, free city, very safe. Like right now, it's 9 p.m., and there's so many activities. Um, this is the uptown side. Uh, one day I hope we'll get to do the downtown side which is quite vibrant at this hour of the night. There's a painting I want to show you guys of um, of Kipchoge. Yeah, I hope we'll get a chance to have a look at it, and I hope there's nice lighting there so you can see. It's very beautiful and colorful and big. It's on the wall of uh, the city market. Actually, this wasn't Koinange Street. This is Mwinimingu Street and Muktadada Street across behind.
guys behind me is the beautiful legendary Hilton Hotel that was allegedly closed but that's how fantastic and stunning the building looks like it's such an interesting shape because down it's a rectangle something of the sort and then up it was a tall uh, circular building so that is the Hilton Hotel and as we are about to wind up I need to show you something really interesting um, at the end of this video so keep watching still looking very beautiful and it's still quite busy cool, cool, cool. Mm. 
imagine. So guys, back to the Hilton Hotel, um, which is allegedly closed. Um, we are trying to show you the way there's so many businesses that go on on the ground floor, uh, especially on the outer sides, although I know because I've been inside the building. Also inside the building, there's some stores that used to have used to, to, to operate inside there. I'm seeing Unify, Mami, that is the eyewear that um, Felicity works with, and that is Denry, and so many more. And guys, I want to show you the Times Square of Nairobi City. You won't believe this. So this is where most people come to relax when they take their breaks from offices at daytime. Right now it's almost um, empty but at daytime it's usually free and it's so long. This circle is huge. It accommodates I think like even like more than 300 people. Actually it can even accommodate like 500 people because from where I'm seated one, two, three, four. This can take like four people. Yeah, so it's quite a big circle. I wonder who came up with this idea, but it was. Huh? Uh, and it also has some very interesting artworks. Wow, this must have been a lot of work.